this is Brent Brain and today we are talking about storyboard and today we are going to talk about the different captions you can add to a storyboard. So to do that we're just going to jump over to the caption view. So we have a horizontal workspace and a vertical workspace so both of them are very useful and very valid. I'm going to click here and just show you what it does. Alright so that's the caption view. That's the horizontal one and I'm going to show you the vertical one. There you go so the vertical one would look like that. You have a scroll bar to be able to see many different panels and it's pretty cool. All right, so I went back to my horizontal workspace because that's what I'm used to. So you can see here in my little caption view, um, you can see your panels. Of course, if you draw on them, be patient because you might need a little while before they update. Like if I click elsewhere, sometimes it takes a little time to render. I have a very strong computer, so it's fine, but on my I know that on my laptop, sometimes it's a bit longer. So you can still draw in that view, which is amazing. When I start my storyboard, usually I'm gonna load my script and I'm gonna populate a bunch of beats here and I'm gonna draw like the basics of my scene. Speaking of scripts, what if I want to import a script? Uh, in other software, you would need to kind of get your script on the side and like try to copy paste and it's annoying because like, Ugh, where do I put that? So what you can do is go to the storyboard view here. In script, you can go here, press on the little page menu and you can import what we call a caption. If you are fancy schmancy and you have a final draft script, you can also do that. I am not fancy. I have a text file that I took from Google. So let's see where this goes. Oop. I'm gonna go on my desktop, find the script. <laughs> I don't know how to write. Script without the F. And I will import that to my storyboard. All right, so I, I just went on Google and, and took the first script that I found and it was 21 Jump Street. So here we go. So what you can do is just uh, take the information that you need. So maybe here we have two white guys since at Marlboro, whatever thingy. This is like the description. You could just take that and put it into maybe action notes. So to move it, you just highlight it, you click and you drag it and then you can just drop it. It's so freaking convenient. And maybe the bird is called Schmidt and it's talking. So Schmidt says, got your backstory down and then you click and drag and you drop it here. And then it says, Yenko, this is a bad idea. So maybe Yenko is the crab. So whatever, I'm gonna just put this here, click and drag it and maybe place it here. So it's very simple to just populate your scene like that. Uh, we also have a autocorrect that will help you check your spelling. You just have to right click on the words and it's gonna try to spell check it to something else. So if I write idea and I put an F in it because that's what I always do, it's like, that's not a word. And he's gonna be like, maybe that's what you mean. I'm like, yes, thank you. All right, so if Yanko is part of your script, uh, you can just right click and add that to your dictionary. So he's gonna stop saying it's an error. Of course, if you feel fancy, you can also uh, do some editing in your text. So you can still write into that and correct stuff. All right. And once you import your script, it's just imported. It's not referenced. It's really imported. So if you want to edit your text, you can click here, highlight it, and go to the little T here, which will give you a little editing bar, text formatting bar, that will allow you to format your text to whatever you want. I'm not going to explain to you how the text formatting works because you know how our mouse works on a computer, so you probably know how to use that. Here in the actual scene layout, what you can do is have these little caption boxes. But what if you don't need sludging? What if you don't need notes? You can get rid of these by going here in the page menu delete your caption and this will delete it across all your projects so be careful and if you don't need the notes you can also delete them and if you want you can like add a new one so add caption and this could be if i want to have something specific like a comment from the supervisor or whatever <laughs> then you have this uh, so these are text caption we also have sketch caption which is just here add sketch and the sketch will be added one at a time. So you can have a sketch here. And it's because sometimes an image speaks more than words. So you can like draw something with the same drawing tools that you have to maybe explain something to your, your crew or something. So it's easier to communicate with images. The last thing you have to say about the captions is that here, the beautiful thing is that it's all taken care of for you. You don't have to write the duration or anything. So if you want this to be longer, you can also write it here so you don't always have to use your timeline if you're used to certain timings you can also do that in here and the great thing is that if i add a panel here in between everything is going to get renamed automatically which is a big win from when i started boarding seven years ago was it seven? yeah about seven years ago on photoshop it was not fun because we had to like do this by hand if we added a panel we'd need to like rename everything and everything would get delayed like sometimes people would even add three panels just to make sure they didn't have to do a new page. Uh, they would just add new panels or like we would do something like this to say like this is not a true panel. We just added this not to re-change all the order of the other panels. So you know, it was a nightmare. So if you can use Turbo Pro, I hope you're gonna have fun and just have a good time doing great storyboards. All right, so with that, 
Have a wonderful day and I cannot wait to see what you come up with in your little storyboard. And feel free to come on my Discord and show them to me because I love to see this. Alright, so have a nice day. Вот она обнимает.